The first thing I do is take a little bit of watercolor paper and I am using these new to me Koi watercolors and I've just mixed some greens and some whites and I'm just layering it up here on my watercolor paper. And I realized I'm not really watercoloring, I'm kind of more treating these like an acrylic. So you know if you were looking and hoping to see me do some sort of watercolor technique I'm sorry it's just this one it's not happening not happening on this one so I just kept going until I got a color that I liked and then once I got that color I did use my heat tool a little bit to dry it and now it's dry so here I have those stamps and I'm just going to go ahead and use my stays on ink pad and I'm just making sure that I ink up all the trees uh, with a decent amount of ink so that they will lay on top of it. And then I go ahead and press that down, like really press it down and tread law. Got it all going. So now I am going to take this over to my die cut machine. And I usually use a Big Shot Plus for that. So I'm just going to grab that die that came with this stamp set and place it over top of one of the trees. Use some of that purper tape. And um, yes, I said purper. It is a family thing to call the color purple purper. So there we go. Now I have these all cut out. So I've got my three trees. And I just use my Lawn Fawn Stamp Chamois to wipe it off a little bit and my hands are kind of dirty or not really dirty but they're stained there's definitely some alcohol ink on there so if you were wondering what those marks on my hands were that is what it was um, I did use some alcohol inks for my Oso inspired this month it should it is live by now it um, went live on the 15th so if you're interested in seeing what happened with that go ahead and check out that video now I'm just trying to figure out what colors I want to use with these trees that I stamped Ooh, excuse me so I have this red and cream glitter striped paper and I also have this hunter green and cream snowflake paper and I decided to use them together and there I just broke my ATG gun so oops sometimes that happens so I go ahead and I line that up and I really like it it's really like calling to my traditional Christmas color um, thoughts which I really really love traditional Christmas colors so I have this trim here and this came from the Target dollar spot and I believe, I want to say it was Halloween time that I got it. I don't even want to think that it was Christmas time. But look at it. It's like this shiny pleather look. And it's got scallops with holes in it. And it kind of reminds me a little of Santa Claus's shiny black belt. So that's what I'm going with. Even though I'm not really a huge, like, yay, Santa guy. Um you know, Santa guy. Hmm. Um, oh, I wish I could remember who called Santa Santa guy. Yeah, that Santa guy. I can hear it in my head, but I don't know who said it. Okay, so I'm putting some foam on the back of my photo of our Christmas tree. And this is the big Christmas tree that's in the living room. And I'm doing that because that pleather kind of thing is is thick and if I just put my photo right over top of it it totally would be kind of bent over it and I didn't want that <sighs> man why am I yawning so much so I just I'm voiceovering a bunch of videos right now which probably makes me yawn because it's a lot of just straight talking but I also took a break for some lunch and even though it was only a little bit of tuna on crackers, I've got that, you know, that full fed happy feeling where you just want to close your eyes and snuggle up. So yeah, that's going on. Now I'm just trying to figure out how to make this happen with these um, 
painted and stamped Christmas trees that I came up with. Now I'm trying to figure out a way to use some of these basic gray evergreen wooden shapes and I decided to go with this tag instead of another Christmas tree and I just pick out a different tree because I think the dotted tree looks better than the chevron tree that I made. So now I'm just going to go ahead and use that black and white baker's twine and I'm going to go ahead and tie a bow and plop it down there right on that wooden tag from basic gray. So voila we have the bow. So now I've got some different textures going on on this layout, which is awesome. I've got the smoothness of the vellum. I have the roughness of the glitter. I also have like that fake patent leather going on and now I have wood grain and I have like um, something tactile with the baker's twine. So I'm like, I've got a lot of stuff going on here and I really like it. Now I found this little tag that had a glitter Christmas tree on it and I felt like it was perfect to layer up with my regular Christmas tree. And that should be coming back here shortly because I do know it made it onto the page. There we go. Oh, I had to add a little bit of twine. And I decided not to use a bow for that twine, but to just kind of do like the normal tag thing that you do with sticking twine through a tag. So I'm going to go ahead and stick that down and then I'm just, you know, noticing that I need a little bit more adhesive to make sure everything stays put. Now this is a Merry and Bright die cut. I'm pretty sure it came from some Simple Stories pack. It is a wood uh, grain kind of background. So later on I will actually emboss that to give it kind of a shiny, like epoxy finish. And that tag needed a little bit more adhesive as well. So I'm really liking what I've got going on here. I'm trying to, you know, bring some more wood veneer in, use some more of those. Goodness, people, goodness. I got home late from work last night. Stayed up with my husband for a while, then, you know, got up earlier this morning than I really wanted to. Oh, I'm just ready, ready for a nap. Okay, so I finally decide to use some gold and I decide to go with that gold star there. And I know that that December is going to go up here at the top, somewhere near the photo. Not exactly sure where yet. But I also think that this is a good time to bring in some flair because if I have one circle, it would be nice to add another circle. And I really like how these two little circles layer up against each other. And in the meantime, I have embossed the little Merry and Bright die cut. Don't worry, I didn't make you watch me emboss. If you're really interested in seeing me emboss something, I know I have videos where I've left the embossing in. Can't really tell you exactly which ones they are. That is a lie. I have a Disney trash can layout titled Oh Hello where I leave the embossing in. And it's gold embossing so you can actually see it go from dull to shiny which is kind of cool. So now I'm just trying to figure out what to do with this third Christmas tree and at first I was like you know what forget it I'm not even going to use that third Christmas tree it doesn't work. And then I was just going to add some gemstones because I was thinking I was practically finished with the page. And then I realized that that basic gray wood veneer thing had this kind of block where it said 25 on it. And then I decided that I was going to layer that on the photo and then layer that gold December circle on top of that. So I'm like looking at this, I'm really enjoying the way it's coming together. I'm really enjoying the look of it. And that's just me kind of like testing out and figuring exactly where I need to add a little bit more of this foam adhesive to give it a little bit more support to keep it stable. And that's all I'm doing is just kind of like figure out where that foam adhesive goes. So I like that and the good thing is that this gold is opaque so I can just put my adhesive right on it and not worry about you being able to see the adhesive behind it. So here is where I'm thinking, oh, I need to get this tree on here. 
where is this stupid little tree gonna go? And I finally figure out where to put the tree and I liked it enough so I left it. <laughs> Adding a little bit more adhesive just to make sure it sticks. And then I'm thinking, you know, I've kind of got like this little bit of an awkward gap here and I need to figure out what I'm gonna do with that. In the meantime, I grab some twine and I go ahead and tie a bow. And I'm just going to use my Zots to lay down a little bit of adhesive and put that bow right on top of it. I did play around with the idea of kind of just like having some loopy string around there, but it really was not the kind of look I was going for. So I went ahead and did my Zots. Come on. There we go. Gonna add a little bit of Zots also down there to that flare badge, just to give it a little bit of extra oomph behind the adhesive. So I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, yeah, I gotta cover up that awkward bit right there somehow. So I grab this little piece of, um, it's basically a tag, and it's what my black patent leather stuff was wrapped around. So I just go ahead and place that there and that kind of get, gets rid of that awkward space between the tree and the photo. And I'm using some Studio G adhesive rhinestones and I just cover up the little hole with one of the rhinestones and now I'm just sprinkling the rhinestones about because I want this to have sparkles. So it has a lot of that red glitter on the stripes but it needs like a second layer, more dimension of the sparkle. So there we go. It's looking good. It's looking good. I'm going to go ahead and get some of these rhinestones throughout the entire page. And I'm really enjoying like this little pop of the green rhinestone. And I'm really like, I'm really liking the way it looks on this page. And I just use my stapler to make sure that it stays there. So now I need a title and I pulled out some of these thickers and I chose the ones that say uh, best day ever. And I'm just gonna go ahead and line that up so it goes across the entire black faux patent leather ribbon thing right there. So yay. And then I'm thinking, oh, I need to add some gems over here. It needs a little bit more sparkle. So sparkle it up, I do. And I do believe that's gonna do it, guys. There it is, thank you so much for watching. Um, please go ahead and check out everyone else that is doing the Kill a Kit with Style series this summer. You can check out their links below. If you have any questions or if you wanna talk Christmas, drop me a comment down below. And I will see you guys real soon for another video.